Hi, everybody. 大家好，欢迎收看今天的成长汉语。Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Growing Up with Chinese. Now, Xiaoming and Mike are still out and about in Shanghai today, taking in the sights and sounds of that fabulous city. Now, just so you all know, our skit today is too long to fit into one episode, so we'll be continuing it next time. All right. So, without further ado, let's check in with our gang and see what they're up to today. Hey, 你怎么说话呢？我这是放声歌唱，怎么能说是高声喊叫、啊？本来就是嘛，多难听啊，哇啦哇啦的。嘿、hey, ，还说我呢？你唱的多好啊，也好不到哪儿去。<笑>好了好了，你们别吵了。向敏真是太高兴了，有点得意忘形，情有可原，情有可原。哼，真是的。我跟他开玩笑呢，谁知他还当真了。好了好了，消消气，准备下船吧。你们俩在这等，我先去买票。那好吧，就算你将功不过。哇，电视塔可真高啊！麦克。原来东方明珠电视塔是上海最高的建筑，后来在电视塔的旁边又盖了一座比它还高的金猫大厦，瞧，就是那座。哎，倩倩，我怎么觉得这座大厦比金猫大厦还要高？你说的对，这叫国际金融中心，它现在是上海最高的建筑了。倩倩。没想到你知道的还挺多，难怪叔叔让你给我们当导游呢。那当然，我可是东道主啊！走吧，我们上去吧。The Oriental Pearl TV Tower is quite the sight, don't you think? Now it certainly seemed like Mike was impressed with it. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the specifics that came up in today's clip. Xiao Ming and Qin Qin had a bit of a tiff on their way to the TV tower, and at, and at the, the end, end of it, Xiao Ming said to Qin Qin, "Xiao Xiao Qi." Now, Xiao Qi means to calm down or cool down, referring to one's temper. Now, this is an interesting word because to be angry is Sheng Qi, right? Sheng on its own means be born, grow, or get, have. So you have Qi or anger. Now, xiao on its own means eliminate, remove, or dispel. So, if you xiao dispel, qi anger, you cool down or calm down, right? Now, repeating xiao as in xiao xiao qi lightens the intensity of the action. She, she wasn't was livid. livid. She was just more annoyed, so she needed to xiao xiao qi. Mike. 你可不知道，他呀就喜欢在黄浦江上高声嚎叫，每次都是。哎，倩倩，你怎么说话呢？我这是放声歌唱，怎么能说是高声喊叫？本来就是嘛，多难听啊，哇啦哇啦的。嘿，还说我呢？你唱的多好啊，也好不到哪儿去。<笑>好了好了，你们别吵了，向敏真是太高兴了。有点得意忘形，情有可原，情有可原。哼，真是的，我跟他开玩笑呢，谁知他还当真了。好了好了，消消气，准备下船吧。After our gang arrived at the TV tower, Xiao Ming offered to go buy tickets, and Xi Xi's response was, 好吧，就算你将功补过吧。将功补过 is a set expression that means make amends for one's faults by good deeds. Now, if we break the expression down, jiang, when used with idioms or dialects, means with, by means of, or by. Gong means 
meritorious service, or just merit. Bu is to mend, patch, or repair, and guo refers to a fault or mistake. Jiang gong bu guo, make amends for one's faults by good deeds. 好了好了，你们别吵了。小明真是太高兴了，有点得意忘形，情有可原，情有可原。哼，真是的，我跟他开玩笑呢，谁知他还当真了。好了好了，消消气，准备下船吧。你们俩在这等，我先去买票。那好吧，就算你将功不过。哇，电视塔可真高啊！麦克。原来东方明珠电视塔是上海最高的建筑，后来在电视塔的旁边又盖了一座比它还高的金猫大厦，瞧，就是那座。哎，先生，我怎么觉得这座大厦比金猫大厦还要高 ？And here's another expression you'll most likely hear when you're in China: 东道主。道主 refers to the role of the host. And Dong, we all know, means east or eastern. So Dong Dao Zhu is eastern host. Qian Qian said, said of herself, I'm your eastern host. Now, you'll oftentimes hear the phrase, be a good eastern host. I have to say, I am hard put to think of better hosts than the people of China. Xiao Ming is too happy. He's a little bit of 情有可原，情有可原。哼，真是的，我跟他开玩笑呢，谁知他还当真了。好了好了，消消气，准备下船吧。你们俩在这等，我先去买票。那好吧，就算你将功不过。哇！电视塔可真高啊！麦克，原来东方明珠电视塔是上海最高的建筑，后来在电视塔的旁边又盖了一座比它还高的金猫大厦，瞧，就是那座。哎，先生，我怎么觉得这座大厦比金猫大厦还要高啊？你说的对，这叫国际金融中心，它现在是上海最高的建筑了。倩倩，没想到你知道的还挺多，难怪叔叔让你给我们当导游呢。那当然，我可是东道主啊。走吧，我们上去吧。Okay, let's take a look at some of today's vocabulary. 嚎叫 ，howl, yell, 嚎叫。得意忘形 ，be intoxicated by one's success, get dizzy with success. 得意忘形，情有可原 ，excusable, forgivable, pardonable， 情有可原，消消气 ，cool down, calm down, be mollified， 消消气，东道主 ，role of the host， 东道主。Shanghai's skyline is a myriad of interesting buildings, but the Oriental Pearl TV Tower stands apart from the crowd for many reasons. Now, the first is that construction started on it in 1990. That's quite a long time ago. It's 468 meters tall, or 1,535 feet, and just so you can put that into perspective, it was China's tallest building upon its completion in 1994, and it lasted all the way until 2007. And China's got a lot of tall buildings. Now, in part because it was built back in the early 90s, it quickly became almost like a symbol of Shanghai. It's quite unique looking, don't you think? Almost like a rocket ship. Now, it's a great place to go to get a bird's eye view of Shanghai because it has 15 observatory levels. That's a lot.
There are shops, restaurants, exhibition facilities, and even a hotel, aptly named the Space Hotel, located within the building. And roughly halfway up the tower, there is a revolving restaurant for anyone who wants to take a break and get a panoramic view of Puxi and Pudong. Now, as long as you're out and about in Shanghai, you will pass by the Oriental Pearl TV Tower for sure. And it's worth a trip up. There are plenty of tall buildings where you can get a good view of Shanghai, but having been China's tallest building for over 10 years, there's something kind of special about seeing it through the eyes of the Oriental Pearl TV Tower, something not to be missed. It's language point time, everyone. We've got a phrase to begin with, and it is adjective plus 不到哪儿去. Now, this phrase is used to express a small degree of something. So, for example, 远不到哪儿去 means it's not too far away, or it's closer than you think. So, Xiaoming said today of Xian Xian, 你唱得多好啊,也好不到哪儿去. And you are complaining about me? Even if you sang well, it wouldn't sound all that good anyway. All right, so another example could be 漂亮不到哪儿去, or 不是很漂亮, not so beautiful. 热不到哪儿去, 不是很热, not too hot. 忙不到哪儿去, 不是很忙, or not too busy. 上海的夏天比北京热吗? 我觉得热不到哪儿去。人太多了,要不我们去那边吃吧。那儿的人也少不到哪儿去。谁知 or 谁知道, who would have thought? 谁知 or 谁知道 is typically used at the beginning of a sentence or phrase. So, she said to Xiaoming, 我跟你开玩笑呢。I was just kidding. Who would have thought you would take me seriously? Now, I could also say, 今天看起来天气不错。谁知道中午以后突然下起了大雨。The weather looked pretty good today. Who would have thought it would start pouring after lunch? Okay, let's take a look at some more examples. 我今天去超市。谁知碰到张老师了,吓我一跳。啊,这么巧。小明,我想让你帮我修电脑,谁知你一大早就不在家。别着急,我马上去你家。难怪。难怪 is an adverb and expresses sudden understanding, kind of like the phrase, no wonder, in English. The nan in nan guai has the meaning of bu guy or shouldn't, mustn't. Nan guai can be used before the subject of a sentence. So Xiaoming said to Xian Xian, 没想到你知道的还挺多,难怪叔叔让你给我们当导游呢。I wouldn't have thought you knew so much. No wonder uncle asked you to be our tour guide. Now, you could also say, 他是新来的同学, She's a new student, so no wonder everyone doesn't know her. Oh, We've just about run out of time for today, but I hope you all enjoyed seeing more of Shanghai. And don't forget, you can always visit our website if you want to review anything or watch today's episode again. And while you're there, leave us some comments or send in any questions you might have, because it's always good to hear from you. Okay, I will see you all next time. 大家加油,下次见. Bye for now.